good morning it's Layla here welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to take you guys with me to go get my diabetes screening so i'm at that point in my pregnancy where i have to take this glucose test where they check for gestational diabetes i'm a little bit nervous because i do have um pcos and sort of like a what is it called insulin resistant so i'm not really sure if i will be able to pass this test i really hope that i will because i just cannot imagine myself poking myself from now until the end of the pregnancy it's just like a very scary thought for me which is why i've changed the way i eat and really watch what i eat so that i do not end up having diabetes because when you have pcos and you don't manage it you can actually have diabetes it can lead to diabetes if not taken care of so today is the day that i'm gonna go drink this sweet 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 drink and then they have to blow draw my blood to check if i have the gestational gestational diabetes i think that they will draw my blood today but i won't get the results today so let me stop talking too much let us go and rock this test I hope I pass it. I'm a little bit nervous because I saw some reviews of other women that have taken this drink and they felt sick and nausea. Some of them even had to, you know, throw up. I'm just like really nervous that I hope that I don't have that kind of reaction, but I don't know. Like I really can't control what's going to happen. All I know is that I really need to pass this test. Let's go. from my appointment i'm done 
I did the lab work and then I had to go see my doctor, get some measurement and the heartbeat. I am starving. I'm so hungry because I had to fast for this um, whole appointment and I haven't had food since like early this morning, like five in the morning. I'm, in, I'm, I'm tired and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to my favorite restaurant so I can eat and feed this little bug. Let's go. okay so i'm at the restaurant now i made it to the restaurant i'm not sure if they'll still have lunch i mean breakfast it is 12 or 4 i'm not sure if they stop breakfast and then start lunch or they have breakfast all day because it is it is a kind of a restaurant that closes at 4 p.m every day so i'm about to go in there and eat because i am hungry come on inside with me guys and see what we're gonna have for lunch today so i am back from my appointment and my lunch actually i did receive my results i did not think that i was going to receive my results the same day of you know the appointment i thought maybe it'll take two days or something like that but i did receive my results the doctor's office tried to call me but i missed the call and so he sent me an email unfortunately I did not pass the test. Whew, I didn't pass the test because the number that they are looking for, there's a certain number and um, the number that you're not supposed to go over is 140 and I had a whooping 160. I'm trying to figure out in my head if maybe me eating at six in the morning prior to going to the appointment might have done something to my bloodstream you know since i do have in insulin resistance i had blueberries in the oatmeal in the morning and you know they have sugar and so anyways i don't know if maybe that was another reason why i didn't pass it but this does not mean that i have gestational diabetes now this means that i have to go through another intense test now this test is not going to be the same as this one where they give you the drink, you drink it and you go into the office within, uh, and you get tested within one hour. This test, I have to fast the night before, which I'm not sure how you're supposed to do that when you're pregnant because you're constantly hungry. You know, not only are you eating for yourself, you're eating for the little bug, right? And so now I cannot eat um, at 10, after 10 p.m. the night before when I go back in a week. And then this test is three hours. I'm going to go into the lab and they're going to draw my blood. And after they draw my blood, I have to drink the drink within the span of five minutes like I did. And then they're going to draw my blood immediately after I drink it. I'm not sure if it's immediately or, or an hour, but then they have to draw my blood again in an hour. So they're going to draw my blood three times. They said the appointment is going to take three hours. I'm a little bit concerned with me not eating the previous night and not eating, 
you know, because the appointment is at 9.30. So 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, that's a long time for a pregnant person not to eat. I'm just like worried that this is not going to, you know, affect the baby. But, you know, we're just going to stay positive. Positive affirmation. Positive, positive, positive. So, yes, I will update you guys about the next appointment of this gestational diabetes. And then I'm going to give you guys an update about the baby. I don't know if there's going to be two different videos. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye.